Well, uh, good Monday morning, uh, friends, subscribers, and other strangers. What's up? Bearded Picker here. Got a lot of energy today because I slept for 10 hours last night. They're finally recovered from the road, so I'm going to need it with uh, 39 to ship this morning. So here's the sales video from last week. Uh, what went on? I sold uh, 1804, which is the lowest week I've had in a while. Um, Y'all think it's a summer slowdown? <laughs> you know I don't believe in that shit. Uh, I was gone from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I came back late Saturday night, so I did no listing for five days. With me being gone, the, the the kid took over shipping, and so for every item he shipped, I told him that's one item he didn't have to list. And so we listed a whole lot less than we've been listing. You know, with him not listing as much and me listing uh, none of the big items, imagine that sales slowed down some. There's just if you're gonna do this full time, if you want full time numbers, if you want the larger numbers, you've got to keep your listing up. Uh, I've talked about that over and over. The secret, don't tell anybody. The secret to, to eBay is you got to list. You've absolutely got to list. You're you're rewarded in search, I believe, for for listing frequently and listing often. And and if you think five or six items a day is gonna cut it, and you're gonna make a full time living. I got news for you. You might want to try something else. Um, just track yourself. Don't you don't have to believe the crazy bearded man. Just uh, just try it for yourself. Instead of listening five or six, how about listen ten or fifteen? How much more time can it really take? Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> uh, just just the summer. Uh, great trip out. Up and down the highway, 127. It's nice to pick up some even more inventory. Um, and that video is next. I'm going to, after I ship these 40 or 39, oh, I got one on Amazon, so 40. Um, I'll be making a, let's unload the van video because uh, we still haven't unloaded the van. Right, right. So, all right. Here we go. Oops. Oh, yeah. Resale Therapy, Friday, 10 o'clock. It's on my channel. Hey, in the topics below, uh, in the topics below, Lord, I'm right. in the comments below, if there's a certain topic you want us to cover, um, man, leave me, leave me a comment below, and because uh, coming up with different, coming up with different topics is 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 tough. So that was my brother calling. We'll call him back later. I think I got 42 items, so here's the first one, and here we go. A little. They're all the $20 items and a couple odd ones just to, that I thought, hell, that's interesting. Let's, let's tell them about it. And up first, this Black & Decker handy can opener. Um, bought it at a yard sale for $2. Basically, it's a rechargeable cordless hand can opener. Uh, anything Black & Decker that's older like that, including, this, including like in one of the videos, you know, I bought a coffee maker. You gotta check this stuff out. It's worth good money. That'll ship. Uh, that'll ship cubic. So, uh, thirty-two ninety-nine shipped. Remotes. I'm thinking there are a couple of remotes in this in this video. Uh, this one was just a generic Samsung remote. Um, these were from a yard sale. I paid a dollar each for them. This yard sale had like seven new remotes. I bought these in Wilmington. I've had them that long. Uh, they the. the the three big ones that I sold with it, they I got a couple hundred dollars for the remotes that were, I forget what the hell kind of remotes they were, but uh, that was before I did YouTube or anything, and I celebrated along. But now y'all get to celebrate. Look, thirteen dollars, and there was much rejoicing. Yay! Next up, oops, y'all saw me pick this up somewhere yard sale. Yeah, yard sale. Is in one of the yard sale videos somewhere? No, actually it wasn't. This came from Austin, Texas. Uh, they were in that calculator a lot that I won at the Goodwill auction. Uh, yep, good condition. Um, this one took a little while to sell because I, I held out for $38.95. Um, a lot of them they were selling at $32. And I'm like, eh, what, what the hell, I'll wait. And took took maybe two, three weeks, but I got top, top dollar on that, I think. Price is probably rising with school going back. That's probably some of it. Now, I know this is a yard sale. Y'all should have seen me pick this up in one of the yard sale videos. Uh, they had two of these. 
uh, the remote and everything with them, four bucks each. Um, normally, I wouldn't pick up a VCR, because, I mean, a DVD player, because DVD players, there's not a ton of value in them. Um, but to have the remotes, to have the cable, to have everything, and they were four bucks. Um, even the bearded picture couldn't pass a DVD player. So I've still got one more. You know, it's only been a, this has probably been a couple weeks. So it's not been bad. Next up, uh, this was a return or an Amazon fail, or it was in a box somewhere. I meant to go to Amazon. Um, I took an offer of twenty three fifty on this one. Uh, I paid eleven bucks at a drugstore somewhere. Out, I don't even remember which one. I've sold a bunch of these on Amazon. Uh, this was Walmart. Paid four dollars for it. Um, it went to Amazon, and for some reason, it got lost in translation. Had a couple of these. Both of them have sold. Um, they came back because Amazon couldn't get them into their system for some reason. I don't know if it's an inventory lab issue. What it was, but I'm like, oh, well, let's just get rid of them. So, you know, for $8, we turned $8 into 30 shipped. So shipping on those, well, very light little, it went first class. Um... Uh, Bought these at Walmart. I know you can't imagine that. Uh, this one's a little older. I found this at a Walmart, I think in Kansas. I just never sent it in. I don't think there was an Amazon listing for it. Um, found it in a box and we listed it. Uh, it is, I think, from 2011 or 12. But I paid. I didn't pay any more than $2 for it. The little, uh, month. These have been a good money maker on Amazon for me. I've bought a lot and sold a lot of these. You know, you pay $3.84. And you get 15 or 16 bucks. You're not going to get rich on it, but it pays the bills. Especially when all you're going to do is slap a sticker on it, throw in a box. These came from Walgreens clearance. They were on 90% off clearance. Uh, I can't see the tag there. Whatever the tag says they cost. Uh, I think they were like $9.99, so I paid 99 cents for them at a Walgreens. Wasn't going to send them to Amazon. Never got around to them. You know, that same story I just told a minute ago. We'll tell it about this one, too. <laughs> but when you find it, when Jacob finds it in a box, then, damn it, he's gonna list it. So there it goes. Uh, this is a good one here. Um, actually, did I take an offer on this? No, I had an offer that I, while I was trying to decide whether I was gonna take it or not, somebody paid full price for it. You know that happens a lot, guys. You can, if it's an offer that you're on the fence about, either counter or leave it up there, and it, there's some activity and stuff involved. This is a, alarm, a Sony CD alarm clock, the Dream Machine. But this one's weird because you the front of it, uh, you open it up. There you go. They get the CD in and out. Regular alarm clock, CD coming in and out. So it's a, it's a vertical. You know, Jacob did a good job showing all the sides of it. Uh, that was just an odd one. And uh, if it's Sony, it's an alarm clock and it's odd. Check it. Uh, I picked it up at a yard sale. I think... Had this for a while, or maybe a thrift store. I think I paid around three dollars for it. This guy here, I was Walmart, paid eight, took a best offer of thirty-five, so forty total on this thing. This was a oh my god, I'm restricted deal with Amazon, so but that's all right. Uh, made some made some money on it and got rid of it on eBay. Nice thing is I do have two of them, so the next one it'll it'll sell. You know, if you get multiple quantities in retail arbitrage. That's one nice thing. One listing, one set of pictures, and there you go. Uh, don't know if I bought this one for a dollar somewhere or, or we already had it, but I buy a lot of video games. Dot com returns. Fourteen ninety nine shipped. I showed this one just because uh, I think I was wearing the camera at a yard sale, but I, I pick this up all the time. You know, people ask, do expired ink sell? Uh, there's a dollar to thirteen thirty four. And they're 266 or 290 to ship them. So, I mean, you're making seven or eight dollars. You're at the yard sale anyway. I mean, the pictures are pretty simple. Jacob did a good job of throwing them up there. And he got a picture of the date, too. Um, gotta take this. All right, sorry about that. It seems that, uh, that the Chinese are trying to kill me. Uh,. <laughs> The blood pressure medicine I take that I've taken for years and years uh, seems the somehow the manufacturing process from all the manufacturers in China uh, for the generics 
uh, there's some chemical they found in them here and that's highly carcinogenic or whatever causes cancer and so that was the doctor's office they're changing the medicine but uh because it's because everybody's out of stock when you have to wipe it out so you got to watch the chinese it's not the russians it's the chinese <laughs> that's a good one come on screen uh picked this up at a yard sale for five bucks it is a waiter belt um interesting thing uh they all uh, they also offer forty nine ninety five, and whenever I, I put a sale on, when the fourteen days came, this thing went on sale, and then it sold. Um, all the rest of them were a different color, so I had the only green one on there. The rest of them were like a purplish color, but uh, five dollars to forty five dollars, hell, I'll take it. So, you bought it. This is a good one here. This is in another Amazon. I sent them in and. I, who knows why they're not selling they were on the the list for need to be removed uh all that crazy stuff so that uh oh somebody's at the door so i brought them all back i opened open open packages and i got five dollars in these things so there is man y'all get all kinds of sounds here this morning uh Somebody wants to give me a hundred dollars for a two hundred and fifty dollar keyboard. What do y'all think? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Good try, buddy. Um, so yeah, I've got twenty one more of these to sell. Um, making like seven or eight dollars each on them, and they just you just throw them in an itty bitty envelope. They're awesome. Oh, what was this the mystery item? Now I know y'all. If y'all watch any of my videos, remember this guy here. Um, I bought. Just a ton of them from uh, a Kentucky Goodwill. Uh, ch 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 I paid seven bucks. Why does the UPS man feel the need to ring the doorbell? Anyway, uh, so picked up a bunch of these. This one had a issue on it or something. For some reason, I didn't send it to or it was a return from Amazon. I didn't send it. I guess seven dollars in this sucker. So from my Kentucky Goodwill in the middle of nowhere. Next up, maybe we won't have any more distractions. Picked up a bunch of these on clearance. They were I got three dollars into it. Um, that you see the little ad scene on TV right there. Um, when that uh, that crazy ass company was messing with me, I decided to pull anything that was. Um, as seen on TV, you know, them bastards at Bulbhead. Yeah, them bastards. So, uh, I've got three more. It says it's the last one. There's one more left, but I had a whole bunch of these things. Uh, Connects. Uh, this is just something I picked up on Walmart clearance. It was $17.79. I got $11 to ship it because it's big. Nothing special about that one. This one, I don't have any idea. Um, I buy these a dollar, two dollars at yard sales, thrift stores. Uh, cassette players, you cannot send them out without testing them. I repeat, you cannot send these things out without testing them. About half of them fail. They have a um, band in them, a little, whatever you want to call it, fancy rubber band that turns the, uh, that, that goes bad every time. And... I don't know what it is with this one. Um, if it's the anti-rolling part of this one, the mega bass. I don't know what's up with this one. But uh, we got thirty-five, almost thirty-four dollars for it. Uh, victory. In one of my crazy videos, when I was, oh, it was the source and the storage video. Um, there we go. It's uh, WX three forty-five, the consumer cellular phones. I got 50 bucks for it. It says three available, but that's a lie. I've actually got I've got eight more of these things. So, flip phone sale. This is a brand new. I keep telling everybody. Flip. I had $12 in it, I think. It had a $17 price tag on it, but I think I got an additional five off for some reason. Picked this guy up at a CBS uh, Dinobot Slug. Uh, I think I paid $9.99 for it. 
didn't send, didn't send it in because the see the little hang tag right there is kind of damaged. Um, so I decided just to sell it on on eBay. Made a few dollars. I don't know how long I've had this. I bought it in Wilmington when I lived there. Um, it's a camera. I had all the stuff with it. Um, it was not a great camera ever <laughs> to sell, but. And it was selling for the 16, 17 range. But since I had the box and I had everything, I went ahead and listed it for $24.99. And it didn't take long once I got the hardest part was just listing the camera uh, in this box. This was in another box. So um, look at there. More Legos. I'm sure I bought it at Walmart, but hell, I can't remember the price. So I just know it was, for some reason, it was in the storage building. <laughs> Told you when I, that video did not lie. Sourcing my own sourcing storage building was awesome. <laughs> I picked this up. I don't know if this is the one I picked up at, on video at a thrift store, or if this is the one I had. I have two of them. I have a 350 and a, a, a 37. Oh lord, a 350p and a 370p. They're nearly identical, other than the number, of course. Uh, I got 85 dollars shipped for this sucker. And it, it stayed up like two days. Um, so you don't have to have the, the greatest picture area. Just list. Um, I took a picture of me testing it. That's the DVD player playing, bringing up the movie. Um, there's the audio cables that are going with it, the remote and the manual on disc. Get it again, get the top to make sure they can see it. there's not damage. Include the serial number so they know you ain't messing around. And then I always, get the connections on back so they, they know how it connects. This one uh, is one of the, starting to get to the newer end of it because it has an S video, right? Come on. That one right there on the very bottom is S video. It, and for the DVD, cause the DVDs allow you to, but the fancier cores to, to, to each core to carry one color instead of the yellow one color carrying everything. I know y'all don't care about that. This remote, I think I mentioned on the show somewhere, um, it went a, a day and a half. Uh, it is for a Pioneer Plasma TV. Um, you can see the plastic right there on the very top, still on, still on it. Um, you know, I left, I listed as used, remote is unused, it still has a plastic on, on the end, but I listed as used because I, you know, I didn't have any kind of packaging or anything. But that was a, that was a dollar remote to 26. These came from a, two dollars or three dollars at a at an estate sale um the people the stuff people will leave in an estate sale they think oh it has no battery have no batteries <laughs> has no value um man this video is gonna be one of my greatest ever uh so yeah i just i opened this side up and to make sure they're all there um they were all there so we listed them and there they went or Jack if I listen to them. This was something Joni bought, and it was going to be her personal bag. Uh, she bought it on eBay, and then we're now we're returning it to eBay. Um, Vera Bradley has a does a lot of their um, discounts and clearance from the company store. On they have an eBay store, and got a lot of offers on this. A lot of you know people want to give me fifty dollars for it. I had it at seventy three ninety five. And you know, as school was coming, school's coming in, and other stuff is, you know, I kind of held my ground. I, I would have given it anybody for sixty-five bucks that they never got that high, and then when I stuck it on sale, somebody bought it full price. So, um, if something's got some interest, you don't have to take it the first offer. This guy here says two available, one sold. This is actually the third one sold. Uh, these came from, oh yeah, I know where they came from, books a million. <laughs> bought a bunch of these for uh 75 percent off whatever that was i got almost 21 dollars for it uh it ships first class uh it's one of those that some of the strange boxes you should i carry a 12 by 6 by 6 box just for things like this that are long i just cut the box down i picked this up somewhere uh it's spiro found him in a store on clearance uh he went to, he was a return from Amazon. You can see the Amazon sticker on the back of him. Uh, still got $18.99. I got one more. 
Walmart clearance. I know you get tired of hearing Walmart clearance. I think I paid three dollars for this. Um, people, I've sold a pet harness for what sixty bucks. People spend a lot of money on their animals. You know, they spend a lot of time with them. They're they treat their animals better than they treat a lot of their family. <laughs> so uh, it, it's worth it to check and see. Uh, this box even had damage on it, but it didn't affect the medicine. It's just joint medicine. So uh, check pet stuff, especially if you find it new, because uh, it will it will do well. Because people will spend money on pets. Uh, this was a two dollar water filter at a yard sale somewhere, and got twenty bucks for it. Shipped in that same twelve by six by six box, and was able to get it like fifteen ounces. So it's four or six there, something like that to ship it. Man, quit beeping. This is from one of the boxes. We never listed it. Twenty-one dollars for a Mario Party game. It's got a. It's not the cleanest one ever, but the label is pretty good. Uh, I can't imagine I paid more than a couple bucks for it. I probably got it with a bunch of them. This one here is a good example of Walmart clearance. Uh, Twenty-two forty-four. You know, putting one, selling one of them by itself was. You know, you're gonna make a few dollars. Uh, Cause I didn't pay, but I paid either a dollar or two dollars each for these things uh, but put them together put two together and you know double the price uh, you save on the shipping and they get more of them this is a a scent that is no longer around um, those that those tend to do the best I had some pine ones too that are that I got good money for but the reason I want to talk about this one was over twenty dollars for one but the just the idea that uh, multi quantities on the same listing save you uh, save you money on shipping. They get more and you make more because you only ship them one time. So I just wanted to. That's why I want to talk about that one. Train. Uh, this came from an online auction. Uh, I paid eight dollars for it. Took it off for a forty on this guy here. So eight to forty and. It was relatively cheap to ship, so that was a good one. I did disclose the the box had damage on it. There's a picture of it. Mention it uh, in the there and in in the description. Man, this is. I think I bought this at Walgreens. Hell, I don't know. It was in a box. Now look at me. Do I have any reason to ever have bought shave lotion? <laughs> I'm, I'm a guest shaving if you didn't know. Uh, I'm the anti-shaver. But just, it just, this one just, just goes to show you got to check everything. I mean, it's, it's crazy that I got $20 for this. I hope they enjoy it. hope it makes them the most handsome person ever. Or if somebody's putting it on their legs, hey, maybe the nicest legs ever. You never know. Uh... <laughs> This is Sistema. This stuff's expensive. Uh, I got $25 for it, twenty four ninety nine. I don't know where Johnny got it, but this is something she bought and never used. Uh, whatever. I don't know what the idea behind her use, buying this was, but something she threw out here and says, well, I'm never going to use this. Just sell it. Uh, so I don't know if I made money or not. I probably didn't, but that's okay. I got some money back. I think I talked about these on the last video. I sold three of them on the last video. This is the next one gone. Uh, they were like six dollars, and the seventeen. I was gonna send them to Amazon, but I don't know that I trust Amazon with light bulbs anymore. Even though I do have a whole box of light bulbs in there, I need to send to them. I need to find that box. Terry Phillips, if you're watching, you'll know what box I'm talking about. Full of blue light bulbs. This guy I picked up in Austin for $4. Uh, Harlan and I were at a thrift store. I don't know if the camera was running or not. Uh, brand new, something big trouble. Took a big box, I think it's bigger than it looks. Uh, but four to 27 is a, is a victory. Victory for Team Zilke. Yay. This guy here is in the box. <laughs> Jacob listed it and there it goes uh, check all the games you know look at the label on that thing it's uh it's roached uh, but at least we still knew what it was and it was just the game Jacob 
took pictures of all of it. I have no clue what I paid for it or even how long I've had it. It could be years at this point. All right, when I was sourcing my own storage building, look what I found. <laughs> A brand new Braun uh, 7000. So the one good thing about this is it, it gives me an opportunity to talk about the, I'm going to coin this phrase, the Ricky Bobby School of Reselling. Uh, you either first or you last. If you ain't first, you're last. And I wasn't first, so you can bet your ass I was last. <laughs> I was the only one on there. I uh, took an offer of 130 for it, so ended up getting $141 for this razor. I don't remember what I paid for it, 40 50 bucks max. I've just had it for a long time. It's either Walmart or Walgreens, one of the two. This is my next one coming up. You've seen it. Uh, I purchased this guy at an estate sale. It was the one. This one is a good example of don't be afraid to ask. Talk to someone. They had a they had the floor cleaner. They had this refill. They had the floor cleaner stuff that came with the with originally. And uh, there was a young kid there, and I'm like. But is all this together or can I buy part of a separate? I, I just need the refill. Um, I've got one of those cleaners. Lie. <laughs> I knew what it was. Uh, he said, sure. He said, all the rest of that stuff, they, they got, there's plenty of stuff to go with it. He said, how about how about you give me $5 for it? I'm like, that that dude, but he damn near brought me to tears when he said $5. So uh, it's taken about three weeks to sell, but there's no best offers. There's no offers on. I got... I was the only one on eBay. I got full ask, one hundred and forty nine ninety five for some uh, floor cleaner. <laughs> shark floor cleaner. Do not pass by shark floor cleaner. The hardwood floor cleaner. That stuff is awesome. All right, let's. In case y'all forgot, since the beginning of the show, reseller therapy, ten p.m. Friday night, my channel. <laughs> Help me with a topic. Leave in the comments below. This one, uh, you should have seen me pick it up at a yard sale. Uh, Harlan and I was the first one we went to one day, uh, I guess maybe a month ago. The lady, I got it. She wanted $30. I offered her 20 It's got a bad hard drive, and she sold it. So I brought it home. I've got hard drives from dead computers because it seems I collect computers around here. Uh, <laughs> put the, this stuff is easy. I mean, you just need a little... A little computer knowledge, just a little knowledge, is makes you very savvy, and you can make decent money. Um, this one, basically, you just take the back off. Let's see if we got a picture of the back. I did not get a picture of the back. Dang it! It was. If you flip it over, there's a. Uh, I think it's four screws come out, and then it exposes the hard drive. Um, laptops, some of them are much easier to deal with than others. This one was extremely easy. So I took the four screws out and the two little plastic things come off. And I mean, you're looking at the hard drive and then it's got four screws that it mounts to. So I took the hard drive out, put a new one in and I downloaded a copy of a copy of Windows 7 because that's what was on this computer originally. The COA, the certificate of authenticity is on the bottom of these things. Uh, so I loaded the Windows 7. It asked for a... The, the 25 digit code and I used one off the back and voila computer works um, and so it took a little while to, to download all the drivers and so for for maybe and maybe two hours time dealing with it spent $20 and turned it into $164.95 shipped and what was shipping on that thing wasn't bad uh, $15 maybe it went uh, Went through the post office, thank goodness. I'd be so glad uh, when we get a Walgreens out here uh, so I can start dropping off all my FedEx to Walgreens instead of instead of having to drive all the way to town. We have reached the end of the show, folks. Thanks for staying this long. Hopefully, it's one of these items I might have jarred your memories. I might have said, Beardy Picker, you know, I see some of that stuff. I'm going to pick it up. Because I like to return the favor of all the people who comment in my videos of whenever I'm wander, wandering through yard sales or wherever I'm wandering through, you know, they go, you should have picked that up. So I, I've learned quite a few items. Uh, so hopefully my souls will maybe maybe be the give back. 
trigger you to go, you know, I can do that. I can make money. Because I don't want a J-O-B. I like working for me. All right. <laughs> what a crazy video this has turned out to be. All the interruptions, all the dings, all the noises. Hey, next week I'm going to do like go back to doing what I normally do. Make this thing in the middle of the night when I'm the only one awake. But I had to have some sleep. Hey, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please do the YouTube stuff. And as always, Margaret would tell you. She'd want me to tell you. Roll Tide.